Welcome to the band gym, everybody. You know, over the years, you've seen me do band stretching on a regular basis. And I've done multiple videos on how to teach it. But it continues to be one of those approaches that it works for some people and it doesn't work for others. I want to take you through five mistakes that people make with band stretching and subsequently why it's probably not as successful for you as it can be. So let's get started. First and foremost, choosing the right band. Now, if you choose a band that's a high level of resistance, it's gonna require you to have a high level of flexibility. As a result, when people choose a band that is too restricted, they're gonna attach it on and immediately the tension of the band is too great and challenging your muscles to go and your joints to go into a range of motion that's too extreme. And as a result, you can't relax, you can't form appropriate breathing, and subsequently you start to fight the band. So as a result of that, you don't allow your muscles to relax. You need to find that special band that allows you to relax and go into the movement and subsequently now start to work out of the movement. Very often, I see people, especially athletes, using large green, extra, extra large green bands. And there's no way that they have the flexibility to be able to handle that level of band. So as a result of it, they're truly not band stretching. They're simply using the band as a means of taking their body into passive overpressure. That's not the goal of the band stretching sequence. The goal is to go ahead and become dynamic and actively be stretching into ranges of motion so that your muscles can actively lengthen as the band creates a subtle overpressure. I think often the band stretching is thought of as being a passive overpressure emphasis, and it's not. It's a dynamic stretching sequence that gradually takes you into further and further ranges of motion as you perform it. So mistake number one, choose the right band. Make sure that you go ahead and you have a band that you can relax with and that you can ultimately go ahead and shorten as you go through the movements to increase tension. But definitely do not start with a band tension that is too high. You simply will not be able to relax and perform the stretching sequences in a comfortable, controlled manner. 